one? Did you clean everything up? You're not supposed to just put it on the trampoline. All right, you want to come upstairs with me? Hello, you guys. My nose ring's crooked. Huh? Fine, but you better be good. Yes. Don't suck up. It's not very nice. Okay, so I wanted to talk about some different ways to uh, get your supplies and get it out, get the new catalog out to your customers. I don't really recommend, um, hey Stacy, I don't really recommend um, sharing the catalog right this second because you still want to have a great month in July, especially if you want to earn money for. I don't know, to buy catalogs and stuff like that, right? So if you haven't yet, or you've already allocated your commission this month for something else, then, you know, you want to rock out this month, sell a lot of stuff for a great price because everything's on sale, almost everything. Um, and then you'll be able to buy some, uh, some catalogs or whatever you decide based on Kind of what we're talking about tonight. So, as we all know, because everybody in their kits gets catalogs, we all know what the regular catalogs look like. They're probably, I don't know, what, 100 pages long? 80-some uh, pages long. And those are great. Uh, they're the most expensive, although they're really not that expensive to begin with. A pack of 24, 25 is on sale right now for $10.80, so it's not a bad deal. But again, if you're trying to save money or if you don't wanna spend any money, it's not really gonna work for you, right? So um, if you, there's a few different options. Um, as far as free options, you can always go to the workstation uh, and you can download the PDF of the catalog there and share that link out to anybody and they will be able to see it. Um, it's great because it's free. That's, that's it. Um, and you can see, I mean, you're, it's the whole catalog, literally. It's not flippable. Um, it is in a PDF style and it's, you kind of just scroll through it. So it's not the most user friendly, but again, it's free. So, you know, you really can't complain about that. Um, if you want, if you have your PWS, your website, and you want to share the shoppable digital catalog from there you would have to wait until the catalog comes out because right now when you're sharing it it's going to be the current catalog but when august comes that is another way to do it it's not completely free since you're paying for your website unless you're within your first three months with cincy of course when you get it free um but it's another good cheap option um as far as other cheaper options these are great. I always fold them up. These are the product lists. Um, not a whole lot to them, although I say that and, you know, all the warmers are on here and all the diffusers and all that stuff and all the scents are on here as well. Um, these are super simple. They're easy to mail out with a stamp. They're easy to pass out with orders or just to pass out in general. Put some in your bag and pass them out when you want to. Make sure you put your information on them. I use a stamp because it's a lot easier. Um, because these come in a pack of, I want to say, 50 or 100. I think it's three packs of 50 that you buy for like $9, uh, maybe even $6. And it's a really good deal. Um, it's Again, it's another way to get the products out to the customers and for them to be able to see the different scents that we have. Um, we also have the showcase brochure, which is... Um, in between this and the catalog, it's, if you've ever seen like those fundraiser, um, catalogs, it's kind of like that. Cause it's really thin. It's only maybe six, seven pages. Um, but it has more info than this, less than the catalog, the catalog, some of the stuff kind of repeats because at the end of the catalog, you have like your whole list of warmers and stuff, but then it's also got warmers on the pages, um, stuff like that. So, and those are. I think $5 for a pack of 25. So again, a cheaper option, um, but it just depends on what you're looking for. So free is on the workstation. You share the link. People can look through the PDF. 
Um, next up would be the uh, shoppable digital catalog on your website, which again will not change until August 1st. So keep that in mind. Right now you can go ahead, not that I recommend it, I'd wait at least until midway through the month probably um, to share the new catalog. My mom always gets to see first because she's my mom, but everybody else, they got to wait a little while longer. <laughs> um, and then uh, we have the showcase brochures, which is five for a pack of 25. And then the uh, regular catalogs, which is 24, I think, for a pack or for uh, $10 and 80 cents on sale right now during this month. So um, you've got that. You've also got uh, transition testers you can get. As you know, um, when you join Sensi, whether you have the transition, uh, excuse me, whether you have the host exclusive kit, the $15 kit, $20 kit, whatever the deal is, um, you're going to get some testers in there. If you got the $20 kit, you didn't get a whole lot of testers. I think there was literally like 20 testers in there, um, maybe 15. And uh, it's not a full set. If you want to get the full set, go for it. Nothing wrong with that at all. Um, it's a little more expensive. I think it's $40 for the full set, which is going to be literally everything in the catalog. Um, all the wax bars in the catalog. It's going to be at probably around 80. Um, and then if you want, if you already have a full set, okay, if you already have a full set, um, then you can just buy the transition set, which is only the new and returning scents. Um, and it's a little bit cheaper. I think it's like $17.50 on sale. Um, so it's, um, it's a little bit of a better deal. Um, if you don't want to buy the testers, if you don't think that it's going to be um, in your budget to buy testers, I recommend getting the new season sales kit that's coming. Um, it's going to be for scent. It's, li it's limit one per consultant. Um, but you're going to pay for your bars. Um, you're going to get them a little bit early. So you can go ahead and start making those samples. Um, and then for me, when I make felt samples, I get around 45 per bar. Depends on what felt you're using, how much you soak it, you know, different factors. But for me, I usually get 45 per bar. And that's a really good deal in itself because you're going to get PRV from that new season sales kit. And then you're also, you know, and that's all your samples. You've got tons of samples to use. Um, to, to give to people to pass out among their friends and things like that. I have a lot of samples left over from this season and I am going to put them into little packets and start sending to people and say, hey, here's, you know, things to share. Um, share it with your friends, family, and coworkers and let's see if we can get you some free Scentsy. And if you really want to, um, we'll leave your link open long enough that you can get things from the new catalog instead of things from this current catalog that's about to discontinue. So... Um, that's another thing to think about. Think about doing a, fir a last chance, first glance party. So maybe the last couple, usually for me and my, uh, in my VIP group, I'll do a last chance, first glance party. Um, and what I do is share, um, share everything we currently have. Let them know that it's, you know, everything's there. Let them know what is discontinuing, especially, um, let them know about Cincy Club, of course. Um, and then let them know that if they want um, you know, we can go ahead and put their order in on the last day of the month, or if they want to, um, buy new things, that's fine too. We'll put their order in on the first of the month. Um, but if somebody hosts for you and wants to do, you know, Hey, friends and family, everything's almost everything is 10% off this month. Um, shop with me so I can earn rewards. And then when they earn their rewards and they want to use their rewards, they can use them on the first day of August and get the new stuff instead of, using it on the current stuff if they want to. It's up to them. You can even do it on the last day of the month if you want instead so they can get those items. It's up to them. Um, let's see. That's usually what I do, and I host it myself, um, and that's how I get a lot of the newer products for free and half off. So that's a win-win. Um, let me think what else here as far as... Here, you know what? I'm going to pull it up on the workstation. If you're not sure where to go on workstation to see all the new products, I'm actually going to go through it here with you now. I, do, I wish I could do like a share screen on Facebook Live, but I don't think I can. I'm afraid if I like show you the thing, it's not going to do very well. That's okay. So you log into your um, account. You go on the menu or up at the top up there, and you'll see consultant store. So go there. 
keep in mind, if you want to save on shipping and you have a party going in anyway, um, you can always add these items to your party order or if you have an individual order, whatever the case may be, um, to save on shipping, you can add those there and you don't have to just shop through the consultant store, pay the extra shipping and then do your order, you know, on the orders tab or whatever. So that's a good idea. Um, let's see here. So once you get to the consultant store, you'll go to fall, winter 2021. And that's all of our new stuff, all of the new, oh, excuse me, uh, marketing materials, uh, testers, oh, stickers. Don't forget your stickers if you want them. Um, let me see if they're sold out. Let me see how it's going here. Yep, looks like they're still available. Um, the oil stickers were sold out when I went, but it doesn't say they are now. So that might have just been an error. I don't know. But we've got all kinds of good stuff. Ooh, and our air purifier is on our new little um, uh, brochure for our different fragrance systems. So that's pretty cool. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super, super stoked about this air purifier. And I'm going to get one free. I'm actually, I want to get two. I think I want to get three. And I told Travis about him. He was like, oh my gosh, so 250 I was like, yeah, we're going to get them free though. Because guess what? I, we know how to do that because we're Cincy Consultants, right? So yeah. Um, let's see here. So with the, um, if you didn't know, uh, another way to get the smells under your customer's noses is to use the um, scented stickers. Uh, scented stickers, they are $30 for, they did a bundle this time to make it kind of easier to find. Um, let's see here. It is two, four, six, eight, ten. That's what I thought. There's 10 new fragrances um, in the stickers. There, It's a bundle for $30 and there's 72 stickers per fragrance. So that's even more than the... Uh, what I would get out of the bars for wax, for felt samples. So that's amazing, right? So you pay $30 and you have 72, what, that's 720 samples basically that people can just rub and smell. Um, if you get the catalogs, put them in there. If you don't get the catalogs, um, I mean, if you wanna just stick them on a blank piece of paper, you can do that quite honestly. If you don't have a printer or something like that. And I'm saying this because I don't want you to think that you have to have, you know, a full home office to get this stuff done because you don't. Um, literally take a piece of notebook paper and put them on there, fold it, and uh, make sure the stickers don't touch because you don't want them to rub. So fold it the other way. Um, and then mail it out or pass it out or whatever you want to do. Do it as, as cheap as you want to go. Do it. I No judgment here. No judgment here. I've been a consultant for, what, five years, I think? Yeah, five years now. Yep, five and a half. And for the first probably three or four years of my business, I wrote everything. So every catalog, I usually get 75 to 100 catalogs, uh, 50 to 100 catalogs. It's, up to, it's gone up through the years. <clears throat> but I buy multiple, multiple catalogs. And for three or four years, I wrote all my information on the back of those catalogs because I didn't have the, um, I guess I didn't have the money. I didn't want to spend the money um, for labels or a good printer or ink for that printer or anything like that or a stamp or anything like that so I wrote out all of my stuff and that's totally fine it's not unprofessional it is what it is we work with what we have we set a budget and if that budget is zero then it is what it is right we just we do what we got to do um part of the good thing about earning the incentive um is that for those who earn level one incentive they get the um and level two and three but even just earning level one, you get that, that new season sales kit for free um, because you were in the incentive. So, you know, those people have um, those tin wax bars coming to them for free and they can use those to sample out. They can sell them if they want to. Obviously, within compliance, we can't, you know, sell stock online and stuff like that. But the best thing, in my opinion, would be to use those to make samples because that's going to bring more money back into you as long as you utilize samples correctly of course um so anyways stickers uh oh i wanted to tell you too there is a pdf on the workstation that is for those stickers those um 10 new fragrances and um they have the um 
you can print them out and it's got the uh, scent descriptions on them, I believe. So that's pretty cool too. Let me see here. Oh, um, one more thing I wanted to mention. If you get the oils, like the transition set or the full set, either one, um, if you get the oils that are on that same page for fall, winter 2021, um, you do earn PRV on those. The rest, you do not earn PRV on. I think it's because the oils, even though they're smaller than the regular ones, they are actual product. Um, and I, I guess that's why. Um, but there's nothing else in there that you earn PRV on. Like you don't earn PRV on testers or anything like that, which, you know, that kind of makes sense anyway. So, sorry, I like sound funny. <clears throat> I don't know what it is. Maybe if I take a drink, it'll make it better. Or maybe not. Who knows? We'll see. Um, the other thing I do recommend is the, there's lots of good brochures on here, first of all. Okay. Um, but the big one that I love, I get it in paper. It's two bucks. Um, you don't have to get it in paper because there is a PDF on the workstation for you to look at all these brochures. There's PDFs on the workstation. So honestly, if you wanted to just share them with somebody, you could do that for free. Um, but the product training guide is something that I love to have. Um, I love to have things in print that I can just like pick up and, you know, physically flip through the book. Um, but the product training guide gives you all kinds of sales tips, um, pros and cons for different um, products and things like that. And, you know, especially if we have anything new come out, it's really good to have that. Um, the other new thing to that is free again um, on Workstation that we have, especially with this new air purifier that we have, is FAQ sheets. So um, they put out a news tab article today um, about our new air purifier and there is a link to the air purifier FAQ and there's all kinds of good questions in there. My main question was how long the um, filter was going to last because we have the additional filters for $35 but I wanted to know how long that filter was going to last and while it varies um, the cool thing was that the shortest amount of time which would be with it running constantly and on high um, seemed to be 40 days, which is over a month, which I, I was kind of thinking in my head, just thinking, um, that being able to use the filter for a month would be, you know, reasonable. And I, I really think that's reasonable to use a filter for a month and then have to switch it out, especially because you can put those air filters on Cincy club. And guess what? Since they're $35, you're going to get, you're going to automatically get a 10% discount on that. So that's really cool. Um, one more thing to mention, I think this is all out the other, hold on, I can't even talk now. I think this is the only thing I, else, the only, I can't even talk. The only other thing I wanted to mention, <laughs> um, the, now I forgot what I was going to say. Hold on. What was I just talking about? I was just talking about something. Oh, Scentsy Club, Scentsy Club, what was it? Oh, okay, okay, I got this, I got this. So in your catalog, you'll probably notice, and you may have noticed this when you first uh, joined Cincy, especially if you're new. Um, in your catalog on the, uh, what's it called, compensation plan. Let's see if I got a catalog right here. Because it's in the current catalog too. No, I don't, I don't know where it is. Um, but anyways, on compensation plan, it does show that Cincy Club uh, commission is 15% instead of the normal 20 or 25%. Um, that is not true yet. Um, back in, uh, Austin SFR 2019, they announced to us that they were going to change the compensation plan, um, to make that change to the Cincy Club Commission. Um, however, it was not actually, they were changing it on paper, but it wasn't going to go into effect until later on. Um, and, you know, shortly after that, I say shortly, but it was a few months after that, um, all this stuff started happening with, you know, the thing that we all know about that I'm not going to say because I don't want to get flagged or something. Um, and I don't know if that's what delayed it. I don't, I don't really know, honestly. Um, but I do know that that change has not been implemented yet with our commission. If you look on your commission, all your Cincy Club orders are still going to be the 20 or 25% commission, depending on what, you know, title you hold. Um, 
but eventually it may change. And I don't want anyone to worry about that. That's why I wanted to say that. Uh, the reason for that is that, uh, according to what we were told at, uh, in 2019, was that basically Cincy is planning on making some changes to Cincy Club that makes it uh, more, gives customers more of an incentive to refer people. Now, um, that's pretty specific info for something that we don't know really a whole lot about, but that's what the gist was that they told us then. Uh, it has that changed now. I mean, possibly, but overall we know that if Cincy is lowering the commission, there's a good reason for it. There's a good reason for it because it's going to benefit us in the end because it's going to cause our, our um, subscriptions to Cincy Club to go up. So commission goes down a little bit, but but you know subscriptions go way up. The profit is still going to be there. Profit's still going to go up. Um, but anyways, what they said at that time was that they were going to give customers more of an incentive to share Cincy Club, um, refer subscribers, things like that, so that our commission would go up, even though the um, percentage goes down. And basically, that means that our customers are going to be helping us do our job for us instead of us having to do all the legwork to get these new customers and things like that. And that's pretty cool. And you know what? I personally, um, I love referral rewards and things like that. I love to save a buck. I love to get free things, all this different stuff. So for my customers, especially those of us who don't want to spend money um, out of our pockets or out of our commission uh, on our customers, like, like, you know, if you have a Cincy Club subscriber, some people will send them you know, different things for being a subscriber. I do sometimes too. Um, but it's not something that we have to do. And some people don't do it. But for Cincy to be doing some kind of thing on our behalf would be really, really cool. Because it wouldn't be something where we would even have to consciously think about it. It would just happen automatically. Because um, Cincy would take care of it. And again, even though the commission percentage would go down, our subscriptions would go up which means our profits would go up and our commission would go up. So anyways, that was a whole lot of explanation for a thing that's not even happening yet. But I just wanted to let you know, that way you've kind of got an idea of why um, that is different on there, uh, especially if you're new or if you have been with Cincy for a while and you didn't notice it or something like that. Because I saw some people um, in another group who had not, I guess had not noticed it. So now we know it's not in effect yet. We will get plenty of communication before it goes into effect, believe me. Um, but I think they like to have it in writing in case they decide to go ahead at some point, like in the middle of the catalog season and change it so they don't have to like change all the catalogs, you know? So anyways, um, does anybody have any questions? Cause I think I went over everything that I want to go over that I can think of. Um, but if you have questions and I want to answer those questions because transition is new for a lot of people. Um, and again, the main point of this is just to make sure that you guys know that yes, we're coming up on a new catalog. Yes, you may have catalogs from this season and testers from this season and things like that. Um, but nobody expects you, e even the co-CEOs of the company do not expect you to spend family money on Cincy. So if you don't have commission to pay for testers, books, all this different stuff, you don't have to do that. There are plenty of ways to share Cincy without doing that. And, um, another, actually another good way that I'm thinking of, um, like the, the last chance first glance party, um, e even if you wait until, you know, you've got enough of a party, even like, you know, the first day of, uh, August or a couple weeks in, whatever the case may be, I recommend getting them as soon as you can. Um, but, um, if you need to wait until the first of August to put in an order and use your rewards to get some free bars so you can make those samples. There's nothing wrong with that, you know? There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I know. I'm sorry I didn't come live earlier, like, a couple of days ago, because I don't know what I was thinking. Because usually I do a transition, you know, information uh, video, and I just kind of, I don't know. I got my days all mixed up, I guess. But um, you're welcome. That's what I'm here for. And I know we have some new people, including you. Fairly new anyway. And this is definitely your first transition. So if y'all have any questions, of course, let me know. I'm always here during my business hours to help. <laughs> I 
I'm sometimes available outside of business hours as well, but I'm working on that. <laughs> um, and of course, people in the group will help you out. Um, we've got consultant support. Sorry, I heard something, but it's on the TV. <laughs> hey, I'm fine with that. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. It's better to ask and like be asking me stuff all the time than not to ask and just like go without knowing something. And then, yeah. <laughs> and I don't like to like, I want to check in with you guys, but I also don't want to like be on you like 24 seven because you're newer and I don't want to be throwing things at you every day. And yeah, so, <laughs> and that's part of what I'm doing in the group so that everybody can see and everybody can, you know, come back to it when they need to whatever the case may be, and we'll, I'll post it here so everybody can see it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and hop off of here and do a little bit of work. And if you have questions, please let me know. Um, you can post them below here. Actually, that would be better if you do post them below. That way, um, maybe somebody else has the same question and they can get the answer too. So that helps a lot. You guys are welcome. Thank you for watching. Um, again, if you're just joining in, I will post this here in a few minutes. That way you can watch. And I hope you guys have a good night. Thank <laughs> you.